The tie-ins start immediately with the Ferro Basso, low-light, headlamp that rides on the front fender rather than up on the bars or fairing as usual. The naked handlebar shuns the usual fairing to save weight just as it did on the original, and that lends something of a utilitarian look to the ride. Though the front turn signals are recessed nicely into the front of the leg art. Steel sheet metal forms the entirety of the body panels for strength and sturdiness. The seat is interesting in that the rider area is well developed. But the pillion tapers off to the rear kind of like a Mustang seat so that it has a somewhat solo look while retaining some passenger comfort. Outback, a large tail light dominates the rear with molded in blinkers and a plate holder that hangs down to obscure the mudguard. Finally. A green paint job makes the color connection. Thankfully it's more palatable than the original. With the number 6 painted on in lieu of a racing number to make that final bond to the historical influences. A 278 cubic centimeters thumper runs with a 75 millimeters bore and 63 millimeters stroke with a 4 valve head that really opens up the combustion chamber to let it breathe. Electronic fuel injection skips the throttle body injection for some direct port injection action instead. And electronic ignition manages the spark with a variable advance feature for engine management that goes far beyond the old standard. Liquid cooled. The jacketed engine effectively vents waste heat while keeping the audible mechanical thrashing noises to a minimum.